Hey runner, Steve here, The Faithful Runner, and today I'm going to show you five shoelacing techniques. So maybe you're transitioning into the new version of your favorite shoe. You've been training in your favorite shoe for months, the new version comes out, you're super excited, you get it, and it just doesn't feel the same. Or maybe you're coming off an injury and you're trying to ease back into your routine. Or maybe you're de dealing with that dreaded black toenail after that full marathon. Either way, I've got some shoelacing techniques that can help out with a lot of those problems. So we have a shoelacing technique for a wide forefoot. We have a shoelacing technique for a narrow foot. We have a shoelacing technique for a high arch. And we have a shoelacing technique for heel slipping. We also have a shoelacing technique for toenail problems. Let's get into it. So this first technique is really, really easy. You're going to start out with your shoes lacing like you normally would. What you're going to do is you're going to go up to about the middle of your shoe, lacing up the sides. Not crossing over yet, lacing up the sides. This shoe has six eyelets, so I'm going to go up to the third eyelet and then you'll start crossing over to lace up the side. This is for a wide forefoot and this is supposed to allow for more room in the toe of your shoe. So here's what we do. Starting out just like this, we're going to lace up the side of our shoe. This is a real simple technique, but very, very effective technique. And, and if you have a wide forefoot, which a lot of people do and their foot their, their toes feel really cramped in the tip of their shoe this technique will help with that so now we're laced to the middle of the shoe now simply all we're going to do is start crossing over just cross over and lace your shoe as you would normally until you get to the top And that's really, that's it guys. This allows for a wide forefoot. This allows for a little more space and a little more comfort if you have a wide forefoot. If your toes feel cramped, that's, that's what all you have to do. Real, real simple technique. Lace up the side to the middle, cross over to the top. Okay, this is why this lacing technique works. This gives your forefoot and your toes room to splay while running. And it also helps with ball of foot problems. Alrighty, so this is for a narrow foot. This is for someone who needs a snugger fit. They need to pull the shoe in tight. Um, this is a very simple technique as well. Pretty much we're going to start out like we always do as, as you would lace any other shoe. What we're going to do now is we're going to cross lace to the center of the shoe, the mid shoe. In my case, the third eyelet. So let's do that. All right, I'm at the center of the shoe. Now once you get to the center of the shoe, simply take the tip of the, the lace and run it back through the same eyelet, making a, a small loop. So bring that loop in as small as you can get it and stop. Don't pull it all the way through. As you can see here, what we did was ran it back through to make this small loop on both sides. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to start cross lacing as we normally do. So run your lace through that loop. Once you get your lace through the loop you just made, cross lace to the top of the shoe and then you can tie. So this is what you end up with. And these loops in the midfoot, when you tie, pull the shoe, shoelaces tight, it will snug up that shoe for someone with a narrow foot that needs a snugger fit. Pretty simple technique. 
The reason this technique works is because you added that extra loop in the middle of the shoe. When you ran your laces through that and then cross laced your shoe to the top and tie it off, it pulls that middle of the shoe in nice and snug around your foot for added security. Alright, so this is for someone with a high arch. This is a, a lacing technique, a very simple technique, and a very effective technique for someone with a high arch. We're going to start out cross lacing at the toe. Once you do that, you're going to lace up the side to the middle of the shoe. Now, pretty much, you just continue cross-lacing until you get to the top. There you have it. Now this technique gives your midfoot room and it also loosens up the shoe at the arch of the foot. This is especially good for runners with plantar fasciitis, which I know all too well. So this technique is for heel slipping. Very simple technique, but very effective and works well. Basically what we're going to do is cross lace our shoes as normal all the way to the top. Once you get to the top of your shoe, let's make that lock loop by pushing our shoestring back through and creating that lock loop. Once you get the lock loop made, go ahead and thread your shoestring through the lock loop. And then finish off tying your shoe. So the reason this works is because the loop lock at the top of the shoe creates a nice tight fit around your ankle, which keeps your heel from slipping and also prevents blisters. Alrighty guys, this technique is for toenail problems. Now basically what we're going to do, you can see that we're not starting out as we normally do. What we're going to do is start out at this top eyelet opposite the big toe. Thread your shoelace through this eyelet, trying to leave yourself enough shoelace to tie off later. Now run your shoelace through the eyelet on the same side as the big toe. And then cross over opposite the big toe. Now, just cross lace your shoelace until you get to the top. There you have it, ready to tie. Now commonly your big toe is usually the toe with issues. And the reason this technique works is because it pulls the shoe around the toe and up and away from the nail. This is a great lacing technique for a lot of toe problems. Alrighty runners, thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope that these lacing techniques can help you out. Uh, five different techniques, I hope I've covered the majority of issues that runners run into with their feet. Naturally, we always run into a foot problem. Now I'm going to go use the high arch technique and go get a good run in. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you could like, subscribe, and share, that'd be great. I will see you in my next video.